Hello friends, welcome to welding lecture 2. In this lecture, we will learn various symbol in welding and how to apply them on drawing. First question is, what are the commonly used welding symbols? These are the various welding symbols. We will discuss most commonly used ones. Let us discuss various weld symbols. So, this is fillet weld symbol. First one is. Second one is V-well weld symbol. Third one is combination of V-well and fillet. This is used to provide, sometimes used to provide greater strength to the weld. This is V-groove weld symbol. You can easily identify with its shape. This is U weld symbol. This is J weld symbol. This one is flare weld symbol. This is flare V weld. As in V weld weld, one surface is or uh, at 90 degree, one is prepared, means groove is prepared on that. So this is V well weld. Same as in the flare weld also. This is V well flare weld. In this one surface is at 90 degree and one is at curve. This is slot weld symbol. This is square weld. And this is flange weld. I have included this flange weld because this is sometimes misinterpreted as flare weld or we will flare weld. So we will discuss these kind of weld and how we apply them on drawing. Let us discuss how we can use welding symbol on drawing. So suppose these are two component one and two and we want to weld on that. So, the surfaces are at 90 degree. So, whenever the surfaces are at 90 degree, we should use this weld symbol that is called as fillet weld symbol. So, two surfaces are perpendicular, we can directly give fillet weld symbol. Even some gap between these two welds, suppose this is slightly up, gap of 1 or 2 mm, that will be okay. We can give, still give weld symbol, that is fillet weld symbol over there. Same as a cylinder on a plate. Again it is forming the 90 degree surface and same we can apply over here also. So fillet weld will apply on this surface also as these both are at 90 degree. Now let us discuss when plates are parallel. So if if plates are parallel, we can use groove weld over there. Here we can see both surfaces are parallel and if we cannot provide any kind of edge preparation on those surfaces, we can directly use parallel or square weld. So in case of parallel weld, the symbol is two parallel line. This is co called as square weld. So as we can see the surfaces are parallel to each other. This welding is applicable. Now suppose we can prepare A's one, A's on one component. We cannot prepare A's on another component. That is, we can have a groove over here. We cannot have a groove on this surface. So if we see the same, it is look, it looks like we will weld. So we will apply over here. That, that will be we will weld. One surface. No edge preparation and one surface has groove. One surface, 90 degree, one surface has groove. So, this is we will weld symbol and this will be applicable in that scenario. Now, suppose we can prepare the A's on this component also. Now, the shape is like V and then V well will be applicable on that scenario. Same as if one surface can be prepared like this. There will be J weld and if 
we can prepare on both surface so it will be u weld same way these based on is is preparation and the conditions available we can apply and use different different welding this also depend upon what is the strength of weld required so in in case of groove weld we can get get more weld strength compared to this square groove so in that way we need to identify and apply weld symbol now suppose there are two circular bar and we want to weld them so in that case if we see the surface formed is like this way so this is called as flare weld and we have to apply over here flare weld symbol now suppose one is a rectangular bar and one is circular and we, we want to weld them so one edge is straight and one edge is circular so in that case the weld applied is flare we will weld so this is how we have to use these two kind of weld whenever these kind of surfaces to be welded now suppose there are two plates one upon another and we want to weld them and we have no kind we cannot prepare any kind of edge and we cannot form this gap so what we can do we can prepare a slot on this plate multiple slots and we can weld them through so it will be have it will have connection over there and have connection over there so in that way we can connect those places this is called as slot weld so the symbol is like this symbol is like this so this is how we can use few welding symbols in our drawing let us discuss how we define size of weld so suppose these are two components so as there is 90 degree we can give fillet weld over there so we can define fillet weld over here now how to give size of weld we can give size of weld on this side so suppose i give 0.375 inches so it means that i have given the leg size of 0.375 over there and this is called as size of fillet weld sometime we have seen it is given like 2-5 over there it is called as stitch weld in that case 2 inch is the weld in overall length of 5 so suppose this plate is to be welded with this and we have given stitch weld over there so in 5 inches we will weld 2 inch over there since again in next 5 inch we will weld 2 inch over there so this is applied when strength is not a factor we just want to connect the part in that case we can give like this where 2 inch is the welding in case of 5 inch of the length so this is called also called as stitch weld in case of a fillet weld remember one thing the size of weld cannot be go beyond the thickness of the plates so consider this is 0.2 inch of thickness this is 0.3 inch of thickness the size of weld should not cross the thickness of weld because then it will we have no penetration over there so this is we need to keep in mind when we uh, are giving the dimension or size of weld now how groove weld dimension is defined so sometimes we we can define over here this is called as penetration dimension and this is depth of that 0.35 we can define the root opening over here also that is 1/6 so this will be the 1/16 so this will be the root opening that we can define and again we can give angles over here also so in this way we define the dimension of weld or size of let us discuss application of weld symbol with a example so this is a weld bend we want to 
create a weldment drawing how to give sim welding symbol on the drawing so suppose these are tubes and if we see one is going in round and one is straight surface so we have already discussed one is straight one is going round surface so this is flare we will weld over here same way at this corner also so we can give flare we will over there so in this way we can define the weld on the corners and also we can give all around so it will be it will be all around the part so in in this case it will be flare we will suppose we we want to stabilize the weldment and we have welded another tube along with this base and here if you see two flares are going means two radius are going there so we can give flare weld over there same way over here also we can give flare weld as its shape already says now we to give strength to the structure we are welding a tube in mid beam in mid beam so if we see the size of the tube is smaller than this so we can give fillet weld all around the tube and we can mention the quantity over here also and we can say typical so it will be applicable over, over here also and it will be applicable over here same we can see 90 degree surface is forming between this tube and the plate so we can give fillet weld all around now we have welded a plate with this also there are multiple possibilities to weld over here as we discussed we can give we can have a age preparation only on this we cannot prepare age on this so it can be a we will weld over here and it can be all around all around this plate now over here we can give groove weld but it will be along the thickness of this plate only at other side or all around of it we can give we will weld but if we want more strength to that weld we can give in combination of we will weld plus fillet weld so in that way we can define weld on this weldment and we we can give the sizes also based on requirement of strength. let us discuss back weld backing weld and melt through symbol and how they applied on the drawing because sometime these are confused symbol in case of welding so this is back weld symbol this is backing weld symbol both symbol are same if you see a groove weld and above there this kind of shape over there on the opposite side so while applying back weld or backing weld we need to mention it this is back weld or backing weld so what is the difference between both so in these kind of welds we need weld over here also over here also so these will be kind of support to the main weld but in case of back weld first we do the groove weld and then we do the back weld means groove weld will be then then we have to do back weld also for support now in case of backing weld we need to do this first and then we have to apply groove weld so in backing weld this is done first and then groove weld is done in case of back weld we do groove weld and then we apply this thing so this is how symbols are applied but in, in both as both symbols are same we need to mention it it is back weld or backing weld but sometime we have seen like the symbol is filled through so this is called as melt through in this welder has that capability to do this weld this is generally application uh, applicable when we join to tubes or to cylinders 
in that you cannot go over here and have bad weld so in that while you welding from the top you have to melt through it and create this kind of shape in also so this is called as melt through while you are welding from here you have to melt through and have a weld over here and then groove weld so in this case welding will be from one direction only but we have to ensure that it gone got melt through and it it has something like this over there so this will provide a good strength to the weld thank you for watching the video in next welding lecture we will discuss various weld calculations thank you